and welcome. It really is my pleasure to introduce to all of you a great artist, Mona Calaria from Weston, Florida. She is a self-taught artist who has dabbled in a variety of mediums. She has developed a passion in different types of art, such as oil, acrylic, and mural paintings. She teaches art extensively and is passionate to bring art to young students. Welcome, Mona Ji, to Lokwani. Thank you for joining us. Namaste, Ranjini Ji. First of all, I want to thank you, uh, Jarna and Praveen Ji, for uh, giving me an opportunity to serve Ekal. Fantastic. And that is really the other beautiful thing about you, Munaji, that you are an Ekal Indie Art Ambassador. Ekal Vidyalaya, for our viewers, is an organization that brings education to over 100,000 rural, remote villages. And Indie Art is an art endeavor that has been created by Ekal Vidyalaya Foundation of USA, where people in the US can learn and submit art pieces for a competition while at the same time bringing digital literacy to rural remote villages. Thank you, Monaji, for giving your time for this very worthwhile cause. And I wanted to ask you, you know, self-taught artist, how did your journey as an artist happen? Um. Art comes in a heredity, and my mom uh, used to draw in her young age. So I, I also started from um, my childhood, and I remember I copy uh, cartoons from the newspaper <laughs> that time, but I never thought of I, I became uh, an artist. So after my graduation and after, um, after graduation, I learned graphic designing, and digital art is also my passion. So the, any form of art, I just love to do it. So after, um, after uh, marriage, uh, in 2001, we moved here in California. And uh, because of work uh, is uh, visa issue, I never had a chance to work as a graphic designer. But um, after two kids and after nine years, I thought, uh, let me upgrade myself in graphic designing. And I joined one college there and um, uh, in that uh, project, in, the, in, in that course, actually I, I made my own website there with my all artworks and uh, sketch, uh, which I have done in my um, uh, in free time. So uh, it's, it's just like natural, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, you don't know what's coming next in your life. So one of my friends, she looked at the, my drawings and paint and the sketching. So she, she suggested me, why don't you teach art? I will bring my daughter to you and just start teaching. That time I knew how to draw. I, how to paint, but I never, you know, didn't know how to teach. But the next day she come, she came uh, with her daughter and, you know, that was the first day I, uh, first class I teach someone, some kid. And till today I never stop. And today is like, I love to teach art. I love to teach, especially uh, to the kids. Yeah. And my, uh, without any, my class, my day is incomplete. I felt like I didn't, I didn't do anything today. Like it, so yeah. that's how my journey started. And, you know, I learned um, and I, stop, I never stop learning and always learn new things. Fantastic. So what is the secret to being a good teacher and why do you love it so much? So teaching to the kids is like a meditation. You know, sometimes they're so innocent and they, they follow, you know, and when you're teaching and you're giving your, your talent to someone, some innocent, you know, kid. And when they are, when they when they do something something nice, you feel good. That that is a very nice thing about you know I like about that. Oh. Uh, teaching, yeah. Yeah, that, that's great. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I'm a dance teacher, and I know the joy when they get it right. Or satisfaction, yeah, right. You 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 <laughs> you, you you feel the satisfaction. You did something, right? Exactly. Yeah. And um, when you see their creation, you go, wow, <laughs> that is really a nice nice guy. Yeah, and. Uh, of course, your own. Actually, I'm glad that, uh, you know, there are visa issues for artists because I think it just helped you give your time to something useful and productive like uh, painting and in such a vast way so that your practice was sustained, you know. So I think I heard that from many artists that that kind of guided them into their artistic 
you know, endeavors and made art full time, you know, for them. Um, so I see that uh, you actually paint a variety of things and you are one of the first uh, mural painters that I have met. So can you tell me how you got into mural painting and, uh, you know, what does it take to do such a large mural painting? I always wanted to paint big. So the huge and, you know, uh, and I just always wanted to try, you know, on the walls. So uh, when I get chance, when we bought house here and I got a chance, I, I got chance to paint on the wall. And then I started like, just like, you know, I, 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 I don't know uh, before starting any, uh, the mural, right? So I just started and it comes, comes out. And the wall, that wall, the first wall was like 12, 12 feet by 8 feet. So it was very huge. And I, uh, it was Buddha. So first, the, my first mural uh, is Buddha painting. Wow, wow. And so what is uh, the difficulty or the greatness about painting on a wall? I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine how to do it. How does one go about doing it? And uh, what are the challenges to do a mural? You need strength. First of all, you need strength. You need power. And, you know, you can't um, fix it. Or it's, if you're something wrong, it's very hard to fix it. And uh, because of the, and the blending, blending colors on the wall is difficult little because you, you can't stop between. If you're using acrylic colors, you can't stop between and, you know, you cannot wait uh, for, for that part. So you need to merge and finish that area in one, one, one go. I see. So you need to have a large vision and be uh, sure that you're, you're doing it right. And I think that's what, and the strength and is the strength, patience, and passion, passion, <laughs> passion. So strength, because you have to do it continuously. You cannot stop in between. And uh, so what was the longest time you've spent uh, continuously in making a mural? Uh, I think around eight, nine hours straight. Wow. No, no breaks at all. Huh? That's no breaks, no breaks. Wow. I started usually at night around, around 10 o'clock and finish in, in the morning. Wow. <laughs> that is just incredible for me to even imagine that. So, um, yeah. And then I, Buddha, I see a lot of Buddhas, you know, in your paintings. I see a lot of Ganesha. So why Buddha? Why Ganesha? Why do they appeal to you so much? Buddha is a sign of peace. And... Um, we need peace in our life, right? So I, I don't know, whenever I looked at uh, uh, Buddha, so that gives me a peace. Mm -hmm. So I like, you know, that way. And for Ganesha, uh, I just in, in the lockdown, in the quarantine period, I got, you know, huge amount of time. And I thought, let me uh, make a series of uh, Ganesha. So uh, I painted Ganesha in, in last uh, three months, yeah. Well, and how of Ganesha, yeah. And how do you do, like, I mean, Ganesha is Ganesha, and yet you have a variety of Ganeshas. Everybody seems to paint Ganesha in different ways. So what does an artist do when they get the image of the divine and how do they present it? What does, why does your one Ganesha look different from the other? It's all about expressions and the feel. So uh, in Ganesha, you can, you know, there is nothing in wrong and right, first of all. So if you if you're done with the face part or you know the portrait if you portray nicely, it's that's about it. And you can just add colors and you know if your vision and to enhance that painting. Yeah. That's beautiful. You know, I guess uh, you're bringing out the message that God is in you, and everybody is different. And so when you portray it, it could be a different image and be divine and be beautiful. I, I like that. I like that a lot. I can see why Ganesha is so popular with artists, you know. <laughs> and now you're giving your time to Ekal in the art. Uh, what motivated you to join this organization? And, uh, you know, why are you giving us so much time? We are so appreciative of it. Would love to know that. Ekal is uh, doing an amazing job. And an artist and as a art teacher, I can, I think it's the best platform I can, I can help. In, in my way, it, let's say in the art, like, so I thought, you know, I, when I, when I heard um, about Ekal from Jarna, I thought like, this is the best way I can help uh, Ekal, right? Yeah. So make a difference. Yeah. Make a difference. And, you know, if I can help a little bit of, little bit of amount, I know that that will be, you know, I, I felt, you know, great. 
That's awesome. And you're going to actually offer a workshop. So what can people expect in the workshop? And I picked a very simple painting, the sunset, soothing painting, and which um, is acrylic painting we are doing on canvas. And uh, in this painting, this is very easy. Just we are learning blending colors and, you know, with the few strokes, you can create a, a very a big painting. Wow. Now that sounds good that you make it seem so simple, you know, so easy <laughs> to paint. So that's, that's, you know, that's for, you know, it's our job. <laughs> It's your to job it to, yeah. to make it easy. And you said you're a lifelong learner. So what is the more recent uh, learning that you have been doing at this time? I recently learned a 3D painting. Uh -huh. And could so, you tell us about that? What does it take to do a 3D painting? 3D painting, um, I, first I learned the technique, how to, how to the, what is the base and everything. So I learned the technique first and I always wanted to paint 3D on walls. So I just try on a small canvas first and then uh, it's, it's a, it's give you a satisfaction. This is a carving. You can just make a like, it's, uh, you're learning so many things in the 3D art. So you are carving that uh, inside that. So I just made recently the pickup. So, so you are learning and you are exploring how to do and what what next what next what next when you're learning by your own you can you can you know you can do uh, you can explore it basically yeah yeah and of course to have something stand out like a sculpture from the wall must be quite a is that what a 3d painting would be on the wall it would really look like a sculpture coming out of the wall yes yes, yes, yes. it's like that yeah it's like that wow look forward to seeing those pieces and i know that uh, I think people commission you for murals as well, right? Is there a mural that uh, you were particularly pleased with that you did recently? Uh, I did uh, uh, the whale, whale mural recently from a one of my client. And I did one painting on six yard canvas for my client recently, yeah. So, wow. so I guess for murals, you have to have commissioning, right? It cannot be pre, you can't buy it from somewhere, so I guess. Yeah, so the, the big paintings and murals, yeah, of course, yeah. So those are my recent work, yeah. That's fantastic. What advice would you give to young artists? You're a teacher, so um, young and others who might want to take it on as a profession like you have done. Looks like there's a good career in it. I mean, that's very exciting to know because all Indians are always telling their kids to be doctors and engineers, but maybe there's a passionate artist who can become a full-time artist as well. Do you have any suggestions and thoughts? Yeah. So uh, art, you can do, if not professional, but for art, you, you have to do, you know, art sometimes for, for yourself also. So I, uh, every artist, uh, every kid is different. And every human, art is like a meditation for me. So if you want to relax, you want to, you know, calm down your, yourself, you just need, uh, you can draw one piece of little art and you can feel the difference. And for, for the competition and uh, for the kids, I, uh, every kid is different. Don't think this is a competition. So, you know, give your thoughts and put your thoughts, put your efforts inside and don't just uh, enjoy um, the artwork. So you're saying just have fun and... Uh... And passion and you, you need to give your thoughts, right? Portray your thoughts on the paper, on the, on the canvas or anywhere. But don't, don't think this is a competition. I am good or I'm not, you know, bad or good. There is nothing bad or good in, in the art. So every, every art piece is different. Every art piece is different. So don't think about that thing. Yeah, so don't worry about the results. Just put your best. Just, just, just go on. Just do whatever you like. Just, just go on. Very, very spiritual note, right? Karmanye Vadikaraste, Mafale Shukadachan. I think in art, that is even more true. So thank you so much, Bunaji, for your time. Thank you so much for, I love the Ganeshas and I think the auspiciousness that they bring, especially during COVID time for you to bring that to all of us. We truly appreciate it. And we look forward to your workshop and um, sure. look forward to the, the new big pictures that you might be creating. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste.